But we are three days away from the big game, and the hype is only growing. Yep, and that hype extends to this year's big halftime show, starring Usher, the one and only. <laughs> our also, our one and only Kevin John was there as he talked about the show today. Well, hello. I'm coming to you from inside of Park MGM here in Las Vegas, and this is the exact location where Usher set the roof on fire during his residency last year. And now he's getting ready to set the roof on fire at Allegiant Stadium as the Super Bowl halftime performer. We had a chance to catch up with the man of the hour earlier today. It's the halftime show that millions are looking forward to. Eight time Grammy Award winner Usher will be in the spotlight this Sunday. Today he held his press conference and the question everyone wanted to know is if he will have any featured guests during his set. I am definitely you know, went through a lot of ideas of who I would have uh, shared this moment with me. And um, I do feel like the people who are gonna share it deserve just as much recognition for what they do in their careers. Now we decided to set out and ask some fans how excited they are for the halftime show. Do you have a favorite Usher song? Uh, yeah, the, 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 the song, yeah. How exactly does that song go again? Uh, yeah. <laughs> If he, Usher can bring anyone out on stage during his performance, who would you who would you want? MC Hammer, baby. Let's see Usher get those legs going with Hammer Time. <laughs> Good love, don't keep me waiting. I got plans to put my hands in places I never seen. Girl. Oh, this is PG. This is PG, man. We can't do that part. He's got so many songs, and then he could do a little If Your Girl Only Knew and point to Kelsey, like if your girl only knew that I was the one. Well, I'm not sure where we're going here, but this sounds interesting. Usher was way before your time, like way before your time. What do you know about Usher? I don't really know anything about him. If you could see anyone perform at the halftime show, who would it be? Taylor Swift. Yeah, of course, Taylor Swift would find her way in that story. In the meantime, that wasn't the only big thing happening today. The NBA trade deadline came to an end, and I'm going to bring in my partner, Matt George, here. And Matt, the Kings pretty much did nothing at all coming up to this trade deadline. What was your reaction to the lack of action they had? Yeah, this is the second straight year that the Kings decided to pretty much stay put. They made a minor move going and acquiring Robin Lopez from the Milwaukee Bucks, but they're planning on waiving him. So essentially they just acquired Robin and some cash from Milwaukee. Who knows how they're going to use that money? They might not use that money in any meaningful way. I think it's disappointing from a Kings fan perspective because, look, there are so many teams in the Western Conference around you that did make moves today and are expected to make playoff pushes. The West is no joke. With their loss to the Pistons last night, the Kings fell from fifth place to seventh place, which is playoffs to play in. So I feel they needed to make a move today. They ended up not. Now this core is still good. They're still capable of making a run like they did last year, but this team has holes and they didn't choose to address those holes tonight. Well, I guess it all depends on how the Kings finish this season. In the meantime, there's a lot going on in Vegas tonight, including the NFL Honors event. We look forward to bringing you all kinds of fun stuff from the Strip tonight at 11. In the meantime, Chris and Laura, what's your favorite Usher song? <laughs> 